So we're at Questacon today and I'm so excited because I've heard so many great things about this place. I know, it's the National Science and Technology Centre and I reckon we're going to learn a few things here today. Oh, I know you're going to learn a few things because I've already been in there and scoped it out and I've organised something very special for you, Angie Hilton. Why do I feel nervous? <laughs> well, don't be nervous. Let's go and check it out. All right. <laughs> Questacon's an amazing place. There's so much to learn and to see and do. But little old Macca has something in store for me, which I knew I should be a little bit nervous about. OK, so I'm here with Jordan from Questacon. Macca has set up something very exciting for me, and I don't really know what it is, but he looks like a trustworthy kind of guy, don't you think? Where do we start, Jordan? Well, I want you to put these on. OK. Are we going skiing? Not quite. Back. I want you to start washing your hands. Yeah. Right up to the elbow. Okay. Give it a good wash. Are we going to cook or something? Yeah, no matter of speaking. Right. Now, I want you to take a big scoop full of this. Right. Hold them out nice and straight in front of you. Okay. I'm just going to bubble them up a little bit. Ah, that's a good trick. Bubbles. Right. Thanks, Macca. Now, on a count of three, bubbles. I'm going to light them on fire. What? And you're going to turn your hands out. What? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> That was cool. And I was holding this big ball of fire in my hand and I didn't get burnt. It was cool. I'd do it again. I'd even let my kids do it. Questacon. Wow. It was one of those things that is just so non macca If there's a if there's a thing out there that's non macca it's the science museum, you know? And um, but I had the best time. Turns every adult into a little kid again. You just can't stop touching things. And that was probably the coolest thing about it is that you're encouraged to touch things. Well, Maka, thank you for my slightly terrifying experience. Oh, well, I thought I could do something nice for you. Well, I've done something even nicer for you. Let's start by putting on these gorgeous orange overalls. Well, seeing as though Maka set that up for me, I thought it was only fair that I set something up for him. So I found this two-storey drop. The best part was seeing him in that little orange jumpsuit. He looks so cute, He's like a Teletubby or something. Two-storey building, they say. That's what the drop was, apparently. It was cool fun. It looks way higher up here than it does from down there. You know what they say? Don't look down. The luck! Uh, I felt safe the whole time. I mean, I know there's a scientist that put together all the calculations to work out how fast a little fat fella can fall out of a window and then land on his back and not die. I was in good hands. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> the things you have to do. Camera, action. Seriously! How am I expected to be professional working with these amateurs? Now, oh. now, RoboQ. <laughs> it's going to be very hard to leave you and all this fun, but unfortunately that's the end of our snowy river journey. And it's all been thanks to our good mates at New Age Caravans with a bit of help along the way from TJM and Oricom Radios. And of course, we can't forget the lovely Adele from Caravanning with Kids. Thanks for joining us along the way. Thanks, guys. Make sure you come and join us again next time as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under. Hello, is anybody out there? What's up down under?